this is Jackie Talon. This is your general reading for the week of whew, October 3rd, uh, 2022. Thank you guys for stopping by. Also, if you're seeking a personal reading, it's JackieTalman.com. Okay, so this is the week. There's part of you that's really going to have to dig for your patients. Um, you're expecting some major changes. They're all good, though. Okay, everything here indicates you're on the right path. Uh, there's some intensity in the love life. There's some positive thinking and some secrets being revealed. Um, a good business deal comes up. If you guys are seeking a, to change jobs or seeking another job, winter is when I see that happening. Now, we're right here in the States. We're in fall. So, the first day of winter, you're looking at more like December 20th. So, you know, December, January, February is when I see you switching jobs. Um, a lot of positive thoughts around you. Uh, for whatever reason, a Pisces may or may not resonate with some of you. But overall, you're on the right path. So the first card jumped out for you guys is the Knight of Pentacles. That good business deal. Definitely something that is here. Sorry about that. Something that is here uh, that will probably resonate with you guys. Um, you might feel a little bit stuck in your first job right now, but know it's only temporary. Okay. Next card up, we have the Five of Cups. Problem here, Virgo, is you're think, overthinking things. Okay? You need to let that energy go. You're just way overthinking things. And we have the Ten of Wands. And this is why. The Ten of Wands says, this is you overcoming your obstacles, pushing them to the side, creating a new path, creating a better path, creating that path that's leading you to the castle. And with that, we have the King of Swords. A Libra may or may not resonate with you. Um, also, I've got something that keeps appearing on the screen here. If y'all wonder what I'm doing here. Okay. All right. So, Libra... Maybe someone coming in to offer you advice. You may be dealing with someone in a uniform as well. Center of your reading, we have the Ace of Swords. Uh, this is a reconnection or a new beginning in communications. How you communicate with others, how they communicate with you. Uh, speaking to someone that you have not spoke to in a long time. Queen of Swords energy. You may be dealing with another Virgo energy. Virgo in Virgo is what I'm seeing. So a little bit of stubbornness going on there. A little bit of you're set in your ways. You're not wanting to bend. You, you like your routine. You guys have the Magician. This is the highest card in the tarot deck. This says you get what you want. You get what you desire. It is right there on the table before you. And as well as the Wheel of Fortune. Saying the wheel is now turning in your favor. This is actually good luck and abundance. And with that, we have the Nine of Cups comes in with Wish Fulfillment, Total Happiness, and Total Contentment. So some really good energy that you're working with here. Remember, you're coming out of retro, the time frame of the unexpected, left on the second, but it still takes a couple days to get rid of the echo of that. So let's get further here. Well, on the Knight of Pentacles, you also have that Ace of Swords. You're definitely reconnecting or talking to someone that you have not talked to in quite some time. And with that, we have the Two of Wands. You've got two paths to take here. One to the left, one to the right. Which one are you going to take? Everything here indicates to me that you're on the right path. So that I would say trust your intuition. Trust where you're being led. On the Ten of Wands, you have the Seven of Pentacles. Working, gaining, raises, and or promotions. And on that Libra energy comes the Wheel of Fortune again. Good luck and abundance. Things going in your favor. On the first Ace of Swords, you have the Ace of Cups. New beginning. For a lot of you, it's going to be a new beginning in matters of the heart. New beginning in love. On the Queen of Swords, we have the High Priestess. The High Priestess says you're grounded, you're centered, and you're very intuitive. And like that Ten of Wands, it's asking you to trust your intuition and trust where you're being led. Okay? On the Magician, there's the Sun, the Happy card in the deck. 
This is your yes answer. This says, you know, the sun shines brightly in all that you do. When you have the, the sun and the magician and the wheel, it doesn't get better than that. And on that first wheel, you have decisions to be made. You've got decisions to make that you've been putting off for too long. It's a timing factor, okay? Time is now. And on the Nine of Cups, you have the Ten of Wands again. Overcoming the obstacles, pushing them to the side, and on the right path. Now, your center of the reading bonus card comes out as the Two of Pentacles. If you guys are juggling financially, or you may be feeling a little bit out of your financial comfort zone, like borrowing from Peter to pay Paul, this is an indication that there is new money coming into play. It's not right now. It's not the week of the third, but it's letting you know these days are almost over. So, Virgo, thank you guys for watching. JackieTomlin.com for personal readings. You guys have a great week, and I'll see you soon. Bye.